Good evening, we're testing out a newer style camera. This is a Samsung. Uh, it's an HD camera. Well, it's a camera plus a camcorder. I don't really have a mirror here to show you what it looks like. But I'll just take a tour around the room. Here's the, you might be able to see it in the payphone here. There it is, you can see it. Samsung HD camera. Um, I didn't have, uh, I couldn't find the, the, I just, I just bought it and my wife didn't want it. So I, uh, I capped it and I'm going to try to upload it and see how long it takes f to upload on YouTube. So I'll just show you a little what I've got here in my bedroom. I've got to uh, kind of go through this stuff. I'm on vacation this week, so uh, some of my Ethernet cables over there. These are... Um, Bins of some phone equipment, uh, mostly mostly phone equipment, DSL modems and stuff. I have to really, I got to get rid of these. Um, over here is the internet stuff. There's a cable modem, Time Warner. Actually, this is my personal personal uh, owned one. That's a Doxis 3.0. Works very well. I actually get more speed than they say. It's supposed to be 25. I get like 40, 40 down to up. So, and here's a. This is a brand of router that um, I have two others like this. It's a Sabado. If you're familiar with it at all, Sabado. Um, this is a n gigabit router. So I get full. Uh, 30 dBm output with these three antennas. Um, I just got this, and it's definitely a a, a better uh, transmit over the uh, uh, amped router that I had. Um, but I have two networks on here. I have the one that faces my mother's house. That's out. The antennas outside. It's a CPE uh, T TP Link. Um, it's just a G router outside all in one uses power over Ethernet. So I have that So I cover the light so it doesn't keep me awake at night um, Got some older stuff. Here's an old RCA clock radio. It's probably from the 60s And there's my wind-up one here and, Oh, yeah, here's my uh, Cyber power I think branded is uh, UPS um, we've had one power outage for about a half an hour with this, and uh, the laptop still worked uh, with the internet. The internet still worked. My VoIP line, which is right here, it's kind of a mess, but I'm going to clean all this up. And uh, it worked very well. There's only four outlets. I just put an electrical strip because these are all low power consumption. This is like 710 watts. Um, so. These don't. These are only like a couple watts each. They don't use that much power. I even have the cordless phone hooked up to it. That still even worked in the power outage, which was really kind of nice. It's supposed to last about half powers, like maybe like 90 minutes. I don't even think I'm using a quarter power. So, and then I I actually couldn't find the uh, the. This is the cord that goes to this com this camera to charge it from the computer, and I. I don't know what I did with it. I moved some stuff around, so I bought one off of eBay. Here's my Sanjin HD uh, component stereo receiver. This is actually going to get hooked back up. Um, and there's the uh, little uh, pile. It's a 80 watt amp, just for these little shelf speakers. Um, um, I put my FM antenna back out. I'll make a video of that maybe this week. And uh, I don't like I don't like how it's performing. So over here I got a massive amount of I don't know. I get on these kicks where I buy these old uh, clock radios. Oh, I found this one at a yard sale. GE. Just got I got to clean the uh, volume. I got to get some spray. That's another. They're mostly GE and um, Panasonic in here. It's a whole bunch of them. There's an Insignia one that I'm using now. And uh, I brought the uh, computer from downstairs. Uh, this is a Dell 740 SDT. Uh, very small hardware, only 75 gigabit, but I, I upgraded the one downstairs and has 250 gigabit and has 4 gig of RAM. This one has 3 gig of RAM, but it still works. It's got a 19 inch Dell flat screen with it. So 
And this I'll try to get hooked up this weekend, or this week coming on a vacation. Uh, I want to get the antenna moved. And actually, I like to put it, I like to put it out this window, which is off the second floor. Let's see. And uh, put it, you know, out this window. Uh, I got, I had, I got some uh, masks. Um, this is just a five footer here I got. And I can just probably this probably won't reach between the two spreads, but I've got one I got a hacksaw that's bent on one end that's taller, so I'm going to use that. But um, let's see what else I got here. It's my Merlin phone system. I have two. I have this one here. I got a cell. It's a 206. And these are some. Uh, tower mount brackets to have a mass off the side of one of your other ones. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, here's an old uh, Panasonic uh, early 80's clock radio that I um, recently acquired but I the band switch is dirty so there's the insignia one that I, I'm used to wake up. And then I got my internet radio uh, over here so that's basically it, just to test out the camera. I want to see how well it uploads. So actually, I might, I'll might i just do it from this computer here. So we'll turn it on. And that's it. Actually, you know, there's one more thing I want to show you. This is a uh, CNG shortwave receiver. Uh, I got this on eBay. And I like CNG a lot. It's a, really a good brand. Um, this is an older radio. Um, has a slide switch for the bands, shortwave 1 and 2, and AM and FM. AM and FM work pretty well. Shortwave works pretty well, too. So I picked that up. It's got a nice little case with it. So I wanted to show you that. But besides that, I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, and I got I showed this in one of my other other videos. I don't have it plugged in. I know it's a Panasonic uh, RC95 I had when I was in high school. So, But this is not the same one. But that's it. Thank you. Have a good night.